Hi guys, you are watching Go IT Center and this video is going to be very important because in this video we are going to Gen 1 and official Windows 11 latest version 25H2 over the old laptop in front of you. We will create a bootable USB in front of you. We will bypass all the hardware requirements, all the hardware restriction and we will do a fresh installation in front of you. So let's start. So first of all, we have to go into the Chrome browser and type windows 11 download always download official iso so we will go for uh, go on to the microsoft website so open the my uh, chrome browser and type windows 11 download then you will have a first link download windows 11 you have to click on that you can see that we have a latest version of windows 11 25 h2 so we have to scroll down it scroll down it scroll down it and then we have to select the windows 11 multi addition once you select it then you have to confirm it if you get error so no need to worry about that just we have to refresh it and then select the iso again uh, try one more time No need to worry about that if if you are facing same problem here so you have to go into the incognito then type windows 11 and then you have to click onto the windows download and then you have to click onto the windows multi edition then confirm and uh, obviously you can see that now uh, we have successfully reached at this page and then you have to select the your language obviously united states english united states because we are going to uh going to perform a fresh installation or through the bootable usb over a old laptop or over over a different machine so obviously uh, you have to select your language so uh, in my case obviously we have to select Uni english united states once we select the language and confirm it then you will have an option of 64 bit then we have to click on that you can see that our installation has been started we have to select the drive let's say i'm going to select the download drive and then save so you can see that uh, our downloading has been started and uh, it would it is the size of 7.2 GB. It is a massive ISO. So I think it would take around 30 minutes to 40 minutes. So I'm going to stop this video and once done, I will resume this video and then we will make a bootable USB. Otherwise video will get longer. So this is my old machine, old machine Windows 10. This is my old laptop. Uh, it's, it's a very old laptop and here we have to install the Windows 11. So before installing the windows 11 we have to check out the format format partition so that we can make the bootable usb accordingly so first of all we have to type computer management we have to click on to the computer management in order to in order to find out the partition format so you have to click on to the disk management once you click on the disk management then you have to right click on it then you have to go into the properties then you have to go onto the volume and you can see that the partition format is gpt so we have to make our usb bootable in the format of gpt if you are installing onto the very new system like uh, you uh, like you have just purchased the new ssd and you are going to install it so you can select gpt or mbr at the time of bootable usd but we are going to install onto the system where we have already windows 10 so we have to take care of it because it may create problem at the time of installation So latest Windows 11 25 H2 has been successfully downloaded from the official website Microsoft. You can see that it has been downloaded. Now we will go on to the folder. So it is available. Now we have to download a most important tool through which we can we will make our USB bootable 
and we will bypass all the hardware requirements so tool name is simply Rufus. it is one of the popular tool which is available online absolutely free so we have to go onto the chrome browser so we have to go into the chrome browser so let me show you so onto the chrome onto the chrome just you have to go onto the google.com and you have to type just rufus and you will get a first link once you have a first link then you have to click on that so it is very special tool and very good tool because it will help out to bypass all the hardware requirements and uh, you can install onto the unsupported hardware as well so just you have to scroll down it then you have to click onto the rufus once you click it it will be downloaded very light tool so it has been downloaded you can see that now we will double click on that once you double click on that then we have to click yes so now we have to select our usb first of all so we have we are going to select our usb now we have to select our iso so now we have to select our partition you you i already mentioned you that uh, we are going to install uh, we are going to install windows 11 25 h2 onto the old computer on which we have already windows 10 so we have just we have check out the partition so so windows 10 is based on the gpt partition so we will keep the setting same if you have a new ssd then no need to worry you can you can go for any any partition but i recommend you to always go for the gpt so we are going we have already checked that on windows 11 we have on windows 10 we have gpt format so we are going to we will keep this format same then we have to then we have to just click on to the start we have selected usb we have selected iso and we have selected our desired format so we have to click on to the start and you can see that it will bypass the 4gb requirement and tpms 2.0 and it will also bypass the online microsoft account so after the installation computer will not require the online uh, microsoft account so everything is good so you can see that this is the major check it needs to be ch checked marked otherwise your hardware requirement will stuck and you cannot be able to bypass the hardware requirement so this option should be check mark and this option should be check mark and uh, rest rest all is good now we have to click on to the ok then we have to click on to the ok so you can see that the bootable usb has been started so in order to make the bootable usb through the refers it would take around uh, 15 to 20 minutes or maybe 30 minutes depending on the iso size so the size of the iso was 7.2 gb so it is slightly big iso so i guess it would take around 30 to 45 minutes so i'm going to stop this video otherwise video will get longer so i will be come back shortly so now usb has been ready and now we are good to go you can see that so let's go on to the old computer let's start the windows installation windows 11 25 h2 so our bootable usb is ready now so i have connected my usb and you can see that my usb is connected and uh, now we have to restart this pc and go into the bios so that we can boot our usb then we have to keep pressing f12 key
then we have to select the bio setup once we select the bio setup then we have to move on to the advanced boot system configuration then we have to go into the boot sequence then inside the boot sequence we have to select legacy once we select the legacy you can see that priorities are set so we put usb drive as a first You can see that we have put the USB drive storage as a first then we have to apply settings then exit now finally you have a visit then you have to select your language obviously United States you have to hit next US yes hit next now it's getting it is getting the things ready for you and also bypass all the hardware requirements because we have already uh, put the desired settings over the Rufus while creating the bootable USB so it will take little time Finally, you have a product key option. Right now, I don't have any product key. So we have to click on to the don't have any product key. Then we have to select our desired option, uh, Windows Pro. I'm going to select it. Hit next. Now it is getting three and checking each and everything. now we have the all disk so you can also delete all the drives and you can create new one but i'm going to format the main drive which is this i'm going to format it and you can see that drive has been formatted now i have to click on that now i have to click onto the main drive and then we have to hit next the fresh installation will be started so you can see that latest windows 11 is being installed in front of you onto the unsupported hardware and you can also install onto the new computer uh, through the same way forward so it is being installed and it will take around 20 to 30 minutes so i'm going to stop this video otherwise video will get longer once it is done i will be back So guys finally fresh windows 11 through the U bootable usb has been installed successfully and uh, i did one thing and uh, because uh, i need to put the ip in this windows because it was very difficult for me to again shoot through the mobile phone so uh, that is why i put the ip and once i put the ip i enabled the desktop and then finally i log in it apart from that i did i didn't do anything so everything is front of you and uh, fresh windows has been installed successfully windows 11 25 h2 now you can enjoy the latest features of windows 11 thank you so much for watching this video like subscribe hit the bell icon forward to your family and friends stay safe bye bye